Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make a plus size spring fall crochet shrug for those cold, cold mornings. Let's get started. You'll need Patron's Classic Wool Worsted Weight Yarn and I'm using the color Plum Heather and I'll put all the materials in the description bar below. You're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. You're going to need stitch markers. I use bobby pins. And you're going to need a pair of scissors. The first thing you want to do is to make a knot to start off with. And then you want to chain the amount that you need that goes around your bust area. That's how I measured it. So I had to chain 110. That's how wide my shrug is going to be. So you measure from your bust around your back and I measured 110. So I chained 110. Now I'm going to chain two because we're doing double crochets. So after you chain two, the third chain from the hook is where you're going to start your first double crochet. So in the third chain from the hook, I make my first double crochet. And you're going to continue the double crochets all the way down the chain. So go into the next loop, chain over, put it through, chain over again, pull through two, chain over, pull through two. Go into the next stitch chain over, put it through a stitch, chain over, pull through, chain over, pull through two, chain over, pull two, pull through two. And you're going to continue this all the way down the 110 stitches that I did. Now remember, you may have more or you may have left, less depending on how wide you are. So I did my 110 and I'm at the end of the row. So there is an easier way to do this, but I find that this way, if you're not well versed with crochet, is the easiest way now. So at the end of the row, you're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work. Now into the third chain from the hook. Now remember, always count the third chain. You're going to go right into that double crochet. Go to chain over, pull it through, pull it through two, pull it through two more. Okay, you're going to go into your double crochets, right into the hole. And you're going to continue that all the way down to the end of the row. Put it through the hole. Look for the next hole. That's your double crochet, so you're going right underneath those two loops. When you get to the end of the row, again, you're going to chain two turn and continue all the way down. Chain two, turn and continue all the way down. Hey, okay, remember you should have 110. For me, I'm going to have 110 double crochets. You should have more or less depending on how wide you are. Okay, so always look for the hole and go into the hole. Okay, you're going to chain two, turn your work, chain two, turn your work. So I'm at the end of my entire shrug. Okay, so I yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over again. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the hole, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so remember at the end of the row, you should have only gone into the hole of the double crochet, not into the chain two stitches. Put it through, yarn over, pull through two, through two. So I'm done with my crochet, excuse me, with my shrug. 
So I'm pulling the loop and now I'm going to cut and fasten off. That's it. All double crochets. And you're going to make it as long or how short you want it. I wanted mine long enough to cover my big booty. So I did 70 rows. And I'm also tall. So you could do, so that's 110 wide and 70 rows long. Now you can make it as short or as long as you want. Okay, 110 wide and 70 rows long. Now to start your shrug, what you're going to do is you're going to fold over so that the top meets the bottom. So I folded mine over. Now it's time to sew up the sides so you can make your armholes. And you're going to do both sides. So I counted 25 stitches. You want to sew up maybe three-fourths of the way. So I counted 25 stitches and placed my stitch marker right there on both sides. So there's my stitch marker after counting up 25 rows. And that's enough room for me to get my big arm through. Now it's time to sew up the sides. Now this is, you know, just playing it by ear as you go along, okay? So I joined my yarn. Now it's easy, different ways to join yarn. This is just a way for me to do it so, to know that my work is nice and secure. Okay, so I'm going up the sides. I'm going to sew up the sides to where my stitch marker is. And I'm going to use single crochets to sew up the sides. Now what you're going to do is you're going to try to find every hole as you go up the sides. This is not going to be perfect, but you're going to sew up as best as you can. We'll find a hole, go through, pull through, pull through two. And you're going to keep doing that until you get to your stitch marker. Find a hole, go in, yarn over, pull it through, and pull through two. Keep doing that all the way up. Now you can try to sew in the tail if you want, or you can leave it out and just sew it in at the end, weave it in at the end. I chose to leave it out. Find a hole, go through, pull through two. Okay, so I'm at my stitch marker, and now I'm just going to crochet through the last stitch marker. Now to fasten it off, I pull through one loop, cut my work, and then I'm done. And do the same thing to the other side. Now you can put sleeves on this if you want. I chose not to because I liked it without it. And there you go. And here's the final product. Alright, so I sewed up the sides. It looks really neat. And then you're good to know. Here's my armhole. So here's your final product. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.